What's going on guys? So now it's official, officially official, that the Jets are on uh, Hard Knocks and Adam Schefter was on ESPN. And he was talking about how the Jets fought this tooth and nail, just did not want to do it. Uh, NFL force in their hand. And Schefter reported that one of the sticking points from the Jets brass perspective is that they feel it's inhumane to show players being released, which is obviously a huge part of the show is um, the drama of cut down day and guys finding out they're no longer on the team or they're not going to make the roster. And for a lot of those guys, I know we think of professional athletes, they have more money than God. But for those guys at the bottom of the roster, um, some of them kind of live regular lives and they, they're trying to find a niche for themselves where they can uh, get tap into some of that generational wealth. But it's not guaranteed uh, to every guy who's just at camp. So that definitely is, you can understand why that wouldn't want to be shown. And to me, that had Robert Sala written all over it. Now with Robert Sala, I've said mostly good things. I've criticized some things. And with him and JD alike, I've just said, there's no point in you know, pontificating anymore because the next two years, they're just gonna be as good as, as the games they win and the games they lose. But one thing I've known about Robert Sala for a long time is that I, I believe he's one of the most authentic and genuine uh, people in the NFL. And he has the respect of players and coaches around the league. And you can, you can just tell. Uh, it, it emanates uh, from Robert Sala, right? And I think there is something to be said about changing uh, the Jets' culture. Now, how do you change the culture? Well, you got to win games, right? That's why you get Aaron Rodgers, obviously. There's only so far so much of a culture you can build if you're not winning. But I, I think about the last time we had what I would call a good culture, which was the early Rex Ryan days. And you know it when you see it. You know when... The, the camaraderie, the fraternity that was built with those those men, even guys who, uh, like, like LaDainian Tomlinson, is a Jet for two seasons at the end of his career, or Braylon Edwards, um, you know, who's an NFL nomad, but still considers himself a Jet for, from his brief time uh, with gangrene. And I think that's what we're trying to establish here. And, you know, whether Salah's got the X's and O's to go ahead and beat Andy Reid in the playoffs, you know, I don't know. But I know he's a good leader, and I know the Jets are, are building a good culture here, and I think this serves as a really good example of it. And uh, we'll talk well soon.